Today we are at Sunbelt Fire visiting with Chip Crooms, who is the Arkansas Territory Manager for Sunbelt Fire. Chip, it is a pleasure to visit with you today, and we are excited to hear what you have to say about the Wooster Fire Department. Slade, thanks. And first of all, we want to thank the Wooster Fire Department for entrusting us with the uh, construction of their newest uh, apparatus, the Sunbelt Fire Quick Attack Unit. Uh, this unit here is a Dodge 5500 four-wheel drive. It is powered by a Cummins diesel engine. Uh, during the process, we've done a lot of things that are specific to the Wooster Fire Department and their needs in their community. One of them being in the crew cab area, we've installed three Bostrom SCBA seats so that they can have proper uh, ISO equipment needs on the scene. This unit here also has the new diesel exhaust fluid for the clean EPA emissions engine and their Cummins engine. They've also installed a 12 volt night fighter lighting system for their scene lights. These here are on the extended pole. So they can uh, easily light up any scene that they have in their needs. You have ROM roll up doors with a 600 pound dual slide master slide out tray. The Wooster Fire Department is going to use this for uh, extrication with their uh, extrication tools and for any car wrecks or any things that they may need in that way. Struts will be mounted here with backboards in this transverse compartment area. Also, we've mounted four Vulcan LED hand lights that will stay on and uh, be charging at, uh, at all times so that when they get to the scene, uh, their, their lights are, are good. We've also mounted in this compartment the brackets for their fire extinguishers. In each compartment on this unit, we have built-in tracking for shelves that when they come back they may or may not decide to to add more shelving for the their department compartments but we've also added that in if you'll notice in this uh, wheel well compartment on the back wall we have pack track this is installed so they can cleanly mount any axes halligan tools hand tools anything that they may need there to give them more space and to clean up their compartments so things are not jumping around and bouncing around in this compartment over the wheel well you have one SCBA bottle holder and your diesel fluid is right here as well. On this unit you have aluminum tire, aluminum wheels on this four wheel drive unit. Slide on the back of this 12 foot box what you'll notice is there's a 20 degree angle of departure. This would prevent the back of the truck getting caught on any, any off road that they may have to take this unit. As we come around the rear, you'll notice your NFPA chevron striping, scene lights, LED, wheel and light package. One of the things that the department has done is they've added an adjustable, two adjustable for their hose, hose bed capacity there. You've got room for six pike poles. You've got a 300 gallon pro poly tank with a 10 gallon foam system. The foam system is for the Scotty around the tank foam system that we have here. The Hell pump is a 300 series operated by a 18 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. And I noticed they have up above a boost reel. Yes, they have a Hene reels that has 150 feet of one inch booster line. You have a 10-foot attic ladder and a 14-foot extension on the top portion of, uh, of your 12-foot body here. Just giving them a quick snapshot here. You can see the lighting back into the system. All of the valves and plumbing is Akron and stainless steel welded. This gives better durability long term. So I, one of the things that a lot of departments in Arkansas are talking about is storage. This rear compartment on both sides is 33 inches wide with a 24 inch depth. Every compartment on here is uh, LED rope lighting. The wheel well compartment is 44 inches wide 
with a 24 inch depth and your front compartment is 55 inches wide providing maximum storage in today's age of needing to run each unit on multiple situations this area here the department has actually specifically asked us at Sunbelt to build this this setup here for their cribbing and uh, it, it's a neat idea that the department has come up with that's one of the unique things about working with us at Sunbelt is we want to hear the department's needs and let you specifically build and set up your compartmentation on how you, you best uh, how you best need again you have the second portion of your slide master slide out tray. A lot of area underneath. We tried to exhaust every area that we could for storage, because you, you, you're not going to have, uh, you can't have too much storage. You know, Chip. Another neat thing is that all of the bodies that are built at Sunbelt Fire will have the extruded aluminum body, which is a lighter weight body design, but it also allows you to carry more payload. And then the beauty of it as well is it's not, um, it's just aluminum extrusion, so it's not gonna rust, and it also has a spray-in liner on the inside of the compartments. Also, that you'll be able to rechassis this body for life, if you ever needed to, to take it off and put on a new chassis. Correct. This is, again, a four-door, uh, crew cab, Dodge 5500 chassis. One of the things that uh, the department, we put on for the department, their special needs, is a brush guard with a 12,000 uh, pound uh, worn winch on the front of the truck here. LED light package again by uh, Whelan, Whelan light bar, uh, Whelan wigwag lights. Um, that's a great setup. This unit again has been built by uh, Sunbelt Fire. It is a Sunbelt Fire quick attack with a 12 foot body. And uh, I want to again thank the Wooster Volunteer Fire Department for uh, giving me and Sunbelt Fire the opportunity to serve them and the citizens of their community. And uh, at any time that you need any assistance, please feel free to contact me at 501-944-1189. Uh, and I would love to come and sit down and, and listen to your needs so that we can specifically build a unit that best fits you and your community that you serve. Thank you so much. Chip, thank you so much for all for what you do in Arkansas and serving our customers there. If you'd like more information about Sunbelt Fire, feel free to check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Sunbelt Fire. Thanks again, Chip. Thank you.